Today is surgery day. I'm heading to the surgical center now. I am cramping a lot. I had to insert my saprostol last night and also this morning to dilate my cervix and I am cramping. So I will catch you guys once I get checked in and I get settled. Is he out there? Yep, he's right here. Oh, hey, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you feeling? start when you get home if you're um let me put it this way you're not going to be without pain it's going to be uncomfortable until that catheter comes out um and any pain pill you take is going to take at least 30 minutes to start working so you just kind of play it by ear when you think you need to take a pill because you can do the pain pill that's got tylenol in it and then you can do a Mot uh, yeah, a Motrin or ibuprofen. So like take a pain pill with Tylenol and then three hours later a Motrin. Then three hours later the pain pill with Tylenol. You just keep going each one. So you just kind of decide when you want to start that at home. But antibiotics. Okay, the pain medicine, the narcotic pain medicine, isn't going to make you concentrate. So you need to take some kind of stool softener or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, slowly increase activity until you start to feel better. Walking is fine, but no intense exercise. So you can just, you know, get up to the bathroom, walk around, walk around, walk around. There's no like heavy lifting. Um, should avoid bending. Hmm? Avoid bending. Um, I mean, bending's okay. So much to update you guys on. So much. I'm still a little groggy. I couldn't really do any vlogging while I was at the surgery center because it just, everything happened kind of really fast. The surgery is complete. The doctor said that I had developed some scar tissue and i had some small fibroids so you guys know i had the open myomectomy last year you guys remember how complicated my surgery was well i apparently developed some scar tissue after that surgery that's what the doctor saw that's what she removed she removed the scar tissue and she did put a balloon in my uterus I have to keep it in until my pre my post-op appointment. My post-op appointment is next week. Well, I have to keep this balloon in there until my post-op and then I can get it removed. Once I heal up, then I have to have another saline sonogram to look again. And if there is more scar tissue or anything in there then i'm gonna need to have a more invasive surgery so it really depends on how i heal how i recover from this procedure i'm just hoping and praying that my body doesn't create more scar tissue with me keeping the balloon in there and that i don't have to go through another surgery
so I just ate. I had some shrimp scampi and I had some garlic bread that I kind of nibbled on. I have my heating pad on and my pain level is like, it's pretty minimal right now, but I have that Percocet ready if this pain starts creeping up so I can nip it in the bud. So now that I put something in my stomach, I'm going to take, ooh, I'm going to take um, my birth control, my prenatal, and I'll probably take my first dose of my antibiotic, doxycycline. Since I have the balloon in, I have to take another medication called Augmentin. It's another antibiotic. I have to take that with the doxycycline. So I'm gonna have Hubby go pick it up. But for right now, I guess I'll start the doxy because I already have it and kind of see how things go. I went to the bathroom and I'm spotting a little bit and Y'all know I'm nosy, so <laughs> I grabbed a mirror <laughs> so that I could look down there, and there's something up in there, so <laughs> apparently it has to stay in until my appointment next week, so kind of weird, but it is what it is. All right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. What's up guys? It is day two post, actually today is, I don't know. I had surgery yesterday. So does that make today day one post-op? Yes, right? <laughs> guys, I'm all over the place. Anyways, um, so I got up, I am getting ready to, um, right now it's 1031. So I am getting ready to take my morning medications. Um, I'm gonna make a smoothie really quick just to put something in my stomach because I have to take um, antibiotics, I have to take estrogen, um, I'm gonna take my prenatal, I can probably do my birth control in the afternoon or at night and I think that's it. I don't know, I have to go look to see what I need to take but I need to take a few medications so I'm going to go ahead and make a really good smoothie. Go ahead and take that. I'm wearing the same clothes from yesterday. I did not shower last night. I was just too groggy and too tired. Um, so after I have my smoothie, take my meds, I'm going to go ahead and take a bath. And yeah, and then I guess we could chit chat a little later. So I am supposed to be recovering and I just came back from the vet. My dog had to go in for emergency surgery. And I 
I'm here just laying down waiting to hear that she made it out of surgery okay and that she's in recovery. Just praying and don't know how much more our family can take. I mean, the husband lost his aunt and his uncle, our baby. We've got like two family members that are really sick. I just had surgery yesterday. And now our dog is in surgery. How much can one take? Like, how much, you know? I prayed over her though. I prayed over her. I consoled her and... Shadow. Hey, I'm pretty girl. Shadow.